Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Paul Blessing Nashipai coming to you as the director of Star with Paul with a message on the power of the tank. We want to look at how the tank can help you to achieve your destiny and how your pa the power of the tank can also destroy you. And we usually base our, our message always on the scripture and we are reading the book of Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 20, 20 and 21. The Bible says, a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be, he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So if you want to speak death, you will speak it by your mouth. When you want to speak life, you speak it by your mouth. We usually say that words are instruments of life, of creation. When you speak, you create. What you speak goes into your spiritual atmosphere. You may find someone who spoke something 20 years ago, 100 years ago, but those words are still having impact on the people that he spoke about, whether positive or negative, because there's power in the tongue. When God was creating, he said, let there be and there was, and he saw it was good. And we are gods, so we create together with him. So when you are speaking, know that you are creating. And that's why in verse, tw in verse 20 it says, A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. So it's a fruit of your mouth that shall satisfy you. When you go out, what you speak is what gives you food. And by your mouth you can close doors. With your mouth you can create doors. With your mouth you can get to your destiny. With your mouth you can, you can lock your doors. So it is good to know that there is life in your tank. And there's death in your tongue. A tongue is like, 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 like a, you can take a matchbox and lit a whole, a whole forest. But by one, by that mouth and your tongue, you can lit a whole forest and destroy it by one word. You find sometimes when there's, they, they're stirring up in countries and people are fighting. Someone else and say it's just one word and it starts people to, to, even to destruction. And another one can speak just one good word and impact people to do the good things. So there's power in the tank. So create life. Cre or do not create death. So if you speak carelessly, for those who have children, don't open your mouth and call your children negative words, negative things. When you start calling your child a dog, you'll find that you start behaving like a dog because you are creating a dog in that child. But when you call them a king, you sh they start being very confident and, and start behaving like a king. So there's power in your tongue. Use your tongue wisely. Use your tongue to create. Create life. Create good things. And speak. Every morning, morning when you wake up, learn to see what the things that you, let's say you have your resolution for the year. You have written them down. In the morning, wake up and speak them. Open your mouth and speak. Create them every day. As much as you create, they become. As you continue to create, they are becoming. So it shall be well with you if you do that. And as we come to the end of this, I want just to pray for you. To have the grace to be able to do that. Because everything that we do it is by grace. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We pray for the grace to use our tongue in the positive way, that in our mouth we shall speak life. In the words of our mouth shall be filled with, with glory, and we shall speak life and create life, and that we shall not kill by our own words. In the name of Jesus Christ, may your grace abound into everybody who has heard me today. Above everything in the life of the tongue, whether it is your tongue or you are creating life or death, the most important thing is to like give your life to Jesus. If you have not given your life to Jesus, because of the abundance of your heart, the weakness that is in you, you will speak death. But if you give your life to Jesus, you will create life. So I want to, to lead you to Christ and so that, so that you can just start speaking life which is surely inside you, inside you. Father, I come to you, ask you to save me. Write my name in the book of life. From today, I'm a child of God. You have crossed over from a mountain of darkness to, to, the, to a mountain of, from a valley of darkness to a mountain of light. And from this day, you are, your life has, is preserved with Christ. And I want to pray for you because you have given your life to Jesus. Father, I thank you for everyone who has given their life to Christ today. I ask you to lead them to pastors who shall lead them to green pastures and still waters. And show them the way of the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. As you have come to the end of this broadcast, I thank you for listening to us. Remember to subscribe, share, and even like because it shall be well with you. Thank you. God bless you. Love you. Jesus love you. Shalom.